Hi, my name's Cody, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple Cinema 4D animation. Basically, it's an intro, and I'll show you when my mouse decides to start working because it's retired. I'll just show you what we're making today because I hate when people don't show you what you're making. So, we're going to be recreating this little intro. So, just a simple little Cinema 4D intro, not very complex at all. So, you're going to want to open Cinema 4D, which mine is already open. And you want to go first. This is basically just what I do. You click on this movie kind of set thing, and you come here to out. This is just general settings which I use, and a lot of people do use because they just generally work the best. So just follow what I'm doing. You want to go down to HDV slash HDTV 720 25, and that should just make the perspective kind of area better. It's just a widescreen view. And that's all you want to change there for now. You want to go to save, you make the file name, try tutorial, save where you do it, and you want to make the format QuickTime Movie. It's just the best way to save it as a movie, which has the best kind of settings to it. And yeah, just X out of that for now, and we're going to put text in. So go up to MoGraph and go to Text Object, right here, and you should open this. And right now, you're going to want to use these things to rotate it, the camera view kind of thing. This rotates the camera view. This zooms in and out. And this just moves it around. So we're going to just basically be making a simple tutorial here for unexperienced people. So, yeah. So you want to write in the text and what you want and just click out and it'll come up with the whatever you want basically and usually I'll line it to the middle just because it's in the middle and I don't like things being off even or whatever you want to call it. But we're gonna to wanna to put here change the depth because that's just how much how thick it is. I usually go fifty. And we'll change this to a um different font and I have a lot of fonts just because I download them all. <laughs> what do you guys reckon I should do? And yeah, that's a pretty nice little font. Actually, it's too big. I could small it down, but it's just... I don't reckon it's going to work right now. Perfect Dark Zero, it's a nice font too. That's a bit small, so we'll just put the height up a bit. Just makes it bigger. Yeah, you don't need to do this for most things, but... I download all my fonts off to font, just if you want to know. I can link you to it if you ask. So we're going to make this look a bit jazzy because if you click here it shows you what it's going to render like. Right now it's going to look like that, just a white kind of thing with a background to it. So that's not generally amazing. Because I don't know, not very many people like that. But you want to put new material here. And just go to color and choose a color of your liking. Maybe just make it green because green's pretty sexy. And you go down to reflection just to make it not that reflective, but we'll put the brightness down to 25 ish. So I usually do it and click this arrow on next to texture and make it Fresnel to make it look a bit more realistic. And we'll X out of the material editor and drag that onto the text. So now it's green, and if you check how it's going to look rendered, it looks pretty nice. It looks a bit 2D there. Uh, for some reason, color likes to make it 2D. And also, if you want to change the material here, you can go load material preset. And most mm, the ones you download come with all the different ones. And say you want to get a material, they, they come with heaps of presets kind of ones. So all these kind of ones are nice. See, so this will look a lot nicer, I think, on these. See, it looks more 3D too. I don't know how that works, how it makes it different. But for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just. Delete that up here, you can just delete it off that. And right now it's back to how it was before. And because it looks 2D, you're going to want to add a light where you click up here. You should just generally make it look a bit more 3D. And use these arrows to move it, which you can do for anything you drop in. And maybe just put one up here. And see what that looks like. See, it looks nice. And you can always add more. Adding more makes it always better. Not generally, but 
iOS add more. Get more three D effect. Oh, right, that doesn't seem to come through much, but turn around it will. Actually, I'm getting too retarded stuff now. I'm getting a bit long, but so what you're gonna want to do now? The lighting's all done. You want to add an animation to it, and you hold this. You hold that light there, and go to camera. You can want to add a camera, and you click on this black box here to look through the camera, and here we're gonna actually put the keyframes in so make it do what you want. And if you haven't done keyframing before, just follow my steps. Other than if you have, you should know how easy it is. You get used to it, but you're gonna make this 125 frames. And 125 frames always works for me on the making each other tutorial. And that goes for about what's that go for? About five seconds. And you're gonna wanna click this button to keyframe. Actually no. We start off like the animation I did before. Zoomed in here, the screen. Just zoom in that and click this key looking thing, which means keyframe. And you drag the screen slider up here across to say 30. And you want to zoom it out here. And I don't know what the, the stuff up bit there, but zoom it out about there. And watch 28 for some weird reason. Do that 30. But then you want to drag it again across about 50. Actually, let's say 60. And like I did in the tutorial. I'm going to go about here, 60, put it there, go to about 90, then drag it across, and click keyframe again, and we won't zoom in, zoom back into it, because that's not the coolest thing, but yeah, just zoom back out there, keyframe that, and now it's going to look pretty nice. So uh, that's, that's just what it's going to look like, end product should look like this, and just so you want to make it look, um, so to save it, not to save it, but to render it as a video, instead of just going to file and go to save, as you do in, say, Windows Movie Maker, you know, click that again, and you're going to go to output, and go to frame range, and for most people, you just click all frames, or you can go to manual, and choose how many frames you want. So I'm going to go from 0 to 125, and I know I, but right here, this is the frame fields, whatever. So it's going to show from 0 to 104 because my thing is stuffed up. So we're going to have to manually go higher, and wherever down below the frames bit, it's going to actually show how far it goes. So if you go down to there, go to 125, or 150, 25 more, that's how much I'm going to render. And now to render it, you click on that box. If you didn't see you, that one in the middle of the two other ones, and it's going to render it out frame by frame. And because there's not many effects or different textures in this, it's going to render out pretty fast. That a frame every five seconds. And but once it gets out more, and it's not just one color, and there's more black in it, it should render faster. But I'll just stop you there because you don't really need any more advice on what to do. You can just get your image and watch it from there on but yeah so I hope you like this tutorial and if you want any more and more advanced things or any other things like Adobe After Effects or I don't have Sony Vegas but if you want any more tutorials and anything generally graphical then just send me a um, message over there this or just comment on this telling me what you want and I shall do it and I'll just like Fave and comment what you think of this and what you want more out of me. And if I make 25, get 25 likes, I'll make an advanced tutorial on just make getting full advanced basically. So thank you for watching the video. I uh, hope to see you guys. Um, well, hope you guys watch more of my videos and subscribe.